Hi everyone, great to see you, wonderful to connect with you. Today I am on a 10 mile uh, nature's trail. <laughs> Check it out. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole thing, just a bit of it, but I thought it would be a little bit refreshing to multitask, uh, take a beautiful walk as well as share uh, what I feel is a powerful message with you. I um, want to talk a little bit about how and why we are drawn to people often who quite frankly um, are toxic for us, are very bad for us. Um, I'll raise my hand. I've certainly been guilty of it until I identified what that was all about. And I think many people, you know, if I had a quarter <laughs> For every time someone has asked me, Sheila, I just don't understand why this keeps happening. It's like I'm meeting the same person over and over again, different, different body, but the same person. Or I find myself locked into the same circumstance over and over. And it's toxic. It doesn't feel good. I want to stop it. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, why, why that happens and what you can do to break the pattern. Uh, share a little story with you. I was working with a gentleman uh, some years ago and he had described to me a cycle of abuse that he went through with his father. And then he went on to describe some behaviors that his girlfriend was exhibiting and the person he called his best friend was not too far behind this toxic behavior. And I asked him, you know what? Let's stop for a second. Let me ask you a question. Have you drawn the parallel of how similar, how similar this woman treats you, uh, almost carbon copy, uh, to how poorly your, your father treated you, uh, berating you, and you're locked into a dance of kind of running after her, seeking her approval. Uh, your best friend is quite similar. And then I asked him, so why is it <laughs> That you want to be best friends with your dad and have your dad for your girlfriend too and he kind of jumped and it startled him and I think it startled him because it was spot on it was spot on he was locked into a dance with these people really trying to finish up the business that ideally he would have finished up with his father if his father was available to him in that way and why was he locked into the dance? Because guess what, folks? We are drawn to what is familiar. Even though it may be toxic, uh, not good for us, oftentimes it's just so familiar. I've taken that walk too. I've been quite candid about a uh, toxic relationship that I was involved in at one point in time. And the best way I can describe it was sitting in a warm, bath of mud <laughs> didn't enjoy the mud wasn't getting clean in the bath matter of fact I was getting filthy and dirty <laughs> but it was so familiar it was there were there were patterns uh, in that relationship of just um, neglect um, uh, maltreatment that it, 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 it just resonated <laughs> based on my history and until you are able to make those connections of what you're doing uh, you're gonna keep going through that same revolving door so folks what it what it takes is awareness it takes awareness realizing and half the time I've had people tell me Sheila I'm in this circumstance I don't like it it's not good for me or I'm dealing with this person I don't even particularly like this individual we don't even have so much in common so what you're dealing with that gives you a clue folks you're dealing with familiar patterns they're not good for you, but it's oh so comfortable. And once you identify the toxicity of that familiarity, you can start to confront it head on. And a lot of times, you know, I think about that situation I was in, that person came into my life to help me finish up the business of self-respect, uh, confidence, self-esteem uh, that I own. I own all those things fully today, but it really took, it took confronting it that way because I would not deal with it head on. 
you don't have to be in a toxic relationship or a bad circumstance to start dealing with yourself. But I think God is infinitely compassionate and says, well, if you won't deal with it head on yourself, I'm going to keep introducing toxic people or toxic situations into your life until you hit the smart rock and deal with it straight up. So folks, we have options. Uh, we have choices. But if you want to stop the cycle, and you're right, she, she, people say, Sheila, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So what's the missing piece? The missing piece is awareness. Awareness, understanding what the pattern, patterns speak to you. What is the pattern here to tell you? What is the pattern here to tell you and to share with you? What is the pattern announcing? What is the work that you have to do uh, to live that rich, joyful, happy, plugged in life? And that's what I want for everyone. It's just something to think about. I'm going to continue on with my walk and I'll connect with you soon. One more look at the landscape. <laughs> Bye, guys.